Howdy folks, we are out here in the workshop and I just finished the latest build. This is, I call this the Texas Twanger. So you can see it's a diddly bow uh, made out of this Texas tin. Texas star right there, single string. So um, by the way, if you hear all that rain in the background, it is storming out and I'm out in the, uh, I was out in the workshop when the storm started. I ain't gonna run from here to the house cause there's about, I don't know, 30 foot run from here to the house. So uh, I'm just gonna wait it out. Me and the dog here. Duchess, say hi. <laughs> anyway, um, so we're just hanging out. So uh, this here, so this is kind of a fun build. Um, it's the first time that I tried a can build. So it's my first time trimming and doing all that. Uh, so what I did, I'd not been through one of these before. So I took, this is a, a one inch square dowel and I had this scrap and that's why it's this size is because this is a scrap. I didn't cut it to that, it's just what I had. I rounded off the bottom a little as you can see and kind of shaped a crude headstock in there. Uh, but so what I did is I kind of trimmed that out and uh, I used uh, pliers to roll the edges of that, um, of the metal there so it didn't dig into you. And then I put two of these, I put a, um, a three quarter inch piece of dowel that I had, I cut it the exact width of, the, of this and put it below there. I didn't get a good picture of that. So that it's double thick right here. And so this screw is going into the bottom dowel on both sides, as you can see. So it gives it a little more strength. So it's not so floppy. Um, you can see there's a jack here and I put a PSO pickup inside here, right about here, right underneath this with the bolt bridge. Um, and then for a tail piece, I just drilled a hole right up through and then I punched it through the tin right there. You can see that it just comes up and goes straight down. Um, a super crude instrument. One other thing that I did, um, and I did get a picture of this before I put it together, but I potted the piezo in a bottle cap. And because this is a tribute to Texas, I used one of these bottle caps. And um, if you're familiar, this is the Dublin Bottling Company. Um, I won't go into the whole story here because we just don't have enough time in this video, but that's the original Dr. Pepper factory. It's a contentious issue in Texas because Dr. Pepper corporate ended up shutting it down. Uh, it, it's a long story, I won't go into it, but any Texan knows the story of Dublin Dr. Pepper. And so the, the bottle cap is under here. And then of course, burn the Texas star right in there at the 12th fret. Um, so an interesting thing, see how this, this, this uh, bolt has the nut on it? Same thing down here. I remember the very first cigar box guitar that I ever had seen, my very first one, the guy did exactly this. And I thought it looked so cool to have the nut and the bolt on there. Like it's just so like industrial. And I'd never done that on a guitar box, cigar box guitar. So I decided to do that today. I put some, uh, oh, can you see those? Some paint dots, there we go. To indicate um, our blues scale. So there's our octave, seventh, fifth, fourth, and minor third mark there. By the way, a way that I do these is um, when I'm using, doing a fretless instrument like this, the way that I do these markers is probably the um, least technical way is I just string it up, tune it up, put the bridge in place, everything, and I find the harmonics. And I mark that one, that one, uh, excuse me, that one, yeah, that one, and that one based on the harmonics, bam because you'll know where they're at by the harmonics of the string. Then once you have those three, you can easily find this one and this one with your ear. And I mark those. Super not scientific, but you know what? Your ear is what's gonna hear it anyway. So that's how I do it with fretless instruments. I have gone through on fretless instruments before and done every note. And when I do that, I'll just go through and I'll actually use a, a chromatic tuner and just find every note on the string and mark them all. Um, I don't recommend that. That's a lot of work. Um, but for doing a quick blues blues uh, pentatonic like this, this is very easy. So anyway, here she is. Um, one other thing, when I put this in together, this is the first time I've done a, a tin, a candy tin instrument. So I got the thing together and I realized, since I used a piezo, I probably should have used a magnetic pickup because I used a piezo. It's very microphonic because this whole thing becomes a microphone. So I was like, oh, well that's not good. Let's see if I can deaden this a little. So what I did is, remember when I made the soup can microphone a while back and I bought a sponge? Actually, I think there's still a scrap over here. Let me see, Ooh, there it is. Here's a scrap of that sponge. Um, I bought a sponge for like $1.99 that was on closeout at an auto parts store and used that for deadening material for the soup can. 
Well, I had still had some pieces of that sponge left over. So I cut a piece that fits perfectly in here. So underneath here, there is a, a sponge in here, which deadens basically this top side of it, making it a lot less microphonic. Then additionally, I put a piece of tape there. I don't know if you can see that right there, just to kind of deaden it out a little. Um, it's still very microphonic, but it made it a little easier. So it doesn't quite feed back so bad. Um, so anyway, I mean, this is, it was a quick, quick, quick build. Um, you know, it is what it is, but I call it the Texas Twanger one string. Oh, by the way, this is, um, it was a G string off of a bass, traditional four string bass that I changed the strings on years ago and I just saved the strings. And so I had this in a box and I was like, oh, I'm going to use that. And it actually sounds great. And since it was a used string, it broke in really nicely. Uh, didn't take a whole lot of, uh, uh, stretching the tune. So anyway, um, there she is, the Texas Twanger. Only Texans can appreciate the Texas Twanger, I guess. Maybe not, maybe everybody can appreciate it. Anyway, there she is. I'll do a sound demo here in a minute. 